The heart is an astonishing organ beating approximately 100,000 times per day to pump blood throughout the body. At the core of this remarkable function is the cardiac action potential, which is a series of electrical changes that occur as the heart contracts and relaxes. The action potential is a complex process that involves the depolarization and repolarization of the heart cells. But what is the difference between the two? That is exactly what we're going to discuss in this quick video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, the heart is composed of specialized cells that work together to maintain a rhythmic heartbeat. The conduction system of the heart is responsible for generating electrical signals that cause the heart to contract and relax. And the depolarization and repolarization of these cells play a crucial role in this process. Depolarization is the process by which the cells of the heart become less negative and contract. When the cells are at rest, they are negatively charged and polarized. However, when an electrical impulse is generated, these cells become depolarized. This occurs when the concentration of ions changes, specifically when sodium ions rush into the cells. The sodium ions move into the cells through ion channels which are specialized proteins embedded in the cell membrane. When the sodium ions enter the cells, they cause the cells to become positively charged, which results in the depolarization of the cells. This causes the cells to contract and push blood through the heart. After depolarization and contraction, the cells need to relax, which is referred to as repolarization. Repolarization is the process by which the cells return to their negatively charged state. This occurs when the cell membranes become more permeable to potassium ions, which exit the cell. The loss of potassium ions causes the cells to become negatively charged again, leading to relaxation. The process of depolarization and repolarization creates the electrical activity of the heart, which is represented as the PQRST waveform on an electrocardiogram or EKG. The sinoatrial node, also known as the pacemaker, is responsible for setting the heart's rhythm. The wave of depolarization that originates from the SA node is responsible for causing the atria to contract. This is known as the P wave on an EKG reading. The impulse is received by the AV node, which causes a short delay. This delay is interpreted as the PR interval on an EKG reading. Then the stimulus moves through the bundle of his, through the left and right bundle branches, and into the Purkinje fibers. This produces ventricular depolarization and contraction occurs, which can be seen as the QRS complex on the reading. Then the heart enters into a short period of repolarization, which is a period where no electrical activity can be detected. This is known as the ST segment on the EKG reading. And finally, the heart enters a period of recovery where the SA node is recharged and another cycle can begin. So as you can see, depolarization and repolarization are important processes in the electrical conduction system of the heart. Depolarization leads to the contraction of the heart, while repolarization leads to relaxation. These processes are essential for maintaining a regular heartbeat and ensuring that blood is effectively pumped throughout the body. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. There should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you'll enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.